Hey everyone, in America, Donald Trump built an entire election strategy on his platform of nationalism and how the country to this earth is some sort of dangerous failed state, and it seems like it's a policy idea that Nicola Sturgeon is very keen to copy, thus we have the proposal of yet another referendum in Scottish independence. Apparently when people say no, they mean yes, um, although that seems a part of the Donald Trump Bill Clinton repertoire she might want to clarify as being strictly about politics. Um, cards on the table, I was in favour of Scottish independence last time around, but sorry if it now means adopting the euro and passing control of everything over to Brussels, then let me Scots, I'll say screw that for a game of soldiers. If I wanted to see what being a small country run by the EU is like, I'd move to Greece. At least they've got crack and weather and the wine's very cheap. Um, the reaction to the financial markets to that shock news though, um, absolutely nothing. Because at least for the next five to ten years, Scottish independence is in that basket of things that won't happen. Um, alongside Jeremy Corbyn becoming Prime Minister, Heathrow getting a third runway, a coherent budget without U-turns, or the Lib Dems having a view in last year's Brexit vote that is either liberal or democratic. Uh, oh, one last thing, it's Cheltenham this week, so uh, top right Racing tip to viewers, that'd be lunch hour, 12 to 1. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these clips, subscribe. Bye.